All right, so what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Dish tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this 5x5 vault door right here. Let's get into it. Now, this is a super easy design, not the cleanest. So if you're looking for something easy, you're in the right spot. But if you're looking for something clean, where it's like flush on the sides, I suggest you go find another tutorial. So it's actually pretty clean. The closing design is probably the best part because it all closes as one. The opening, you know, it's, it's average, but it's like the closing is just awesome. It's like my favorite door so far, just because of the closing out. All closes at once. The materials you'll need, you'll need building blocks. I did not count exactly how many, but just know you'll need some sort of solid building block. You'll need 25 blocks for your door, but if I open this, you probably will need more. 25 blocks is like for the actual door, but if you want it to be like all the same color wrapping around, you'll probably need, I believe, 8 more blocks. 26 obsidian, just if you want, you, you can use more. 26 is like the minimum. 5 blocks of slime. 5 blocks of honey. 22 sticky pistons. 6 observers. I didn't count how much redstone. You'll probably need less than a stack, but it's just grabbing stack. 28 redstone repeaters and 2 levers. But I'm just going to simply build up just a couple blocks to make sure that I have room. So first thing you're going to do is find out where the base, like, bottom blocks are going to be. So right here, I'm going to have my base five blocks then you're gonna place a temporary block another temporary block below break the middle one extend it all the way across and then you can get your sticky pistons all along the bottom facing up then on both sides the left and the right you're gonna go up so one two three so this is four five on the other side do the exact same thing one two three four five oops and then go across on the top you're gonna place a block on both sides like so on the bottom block sticky piston facing in Two more on top of that facing in. Make sure they're facing in. Then you can break that block. So these three facing in on the other side. Place temporary block on the bottom. Piston facing in. Piston facing in. Piston facing in. Same thing as the bottom. Two blocks up. Break this block. Extend your blocks across. Look from below. Blocks facing down. So like so. The thing you're going to do is on these pistons, you're going to go three blocks down, one block in like this. Make an L shape. Then the other side, you're going to just do the exact same thing, just in reverse. So the one block's on the top, same three blocks on the pistons. So these two L shapes. One side, you're going to place on those blocks, slime blocks. On the other side, you're going to use honey blocks. Now, you may notice this is four. Four slime blocks, four honey blocks. The reason you need five is to make it look a little bit cleaner. Um, so the pistons aren't like fully extended in towards the door. It's just a tiny bit cleaner. In this middle block right here, you're just going to add in another slime block and honey block like so. We need a row of three pistons going into the slime block. So temporary block there, and then three more behind that. Sticky pistons facing into that one slime block, and then you can break those. Do the same on the other side. So three, four temporary blocks total. Sticky pistons facing in. What I'm going to do is go underneath and just bring out a block so then I can have like a platform to place my blocks on. What you're going to do is you're going to have a repeater right there going into this back piston. Then you're going to add in, obviously, some more blocks. You're going to have a repeater going into the top piston. Oops, not three ticks delay. Then you're going to place two blocks of obsidian right there. Then you're going to have a repeater going into this last block of obsidian. Then two repeaters going into the middle block of obsidian, or the left side. Four tick delay on this one and this one. Dub with redstone. All the repeaters, like so. I'm gonna go over here, and on the back side of this piston, on the last piston, I'm gonna have a repeater facing out for to delay. Have the repeater going to a block, like so. Then, right, like equal with the pistons, you're gonna place three temporary blocks. Observers facing in, like so. Then you break these temporary blocks, and then place three repeaters in those place. For to delay on that one, for to delay on this one. Redstone dust right there. So the check. Four tick delay, four tick delay, no tick delay. Four tick delay, no tick delay, three tick delay, four, four, and no. We're going to plop on a lever to test it. Should triple extend and triple retract. And it did not. Let's see where we have the problem. Oh, the problem is we didn't connect up the redstone right there. So now it should triple extend and triple retract like so. Perfect. You can break that lever and we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Like so blocks right there are obsidian Peter right here three tick delay no tick delay four tick 
four tick, connect up with redstone. Peter on four tick delay, going into block, connect up the redstone. Going back, three temporary blocks right there. Observer going in, break those blocks, three repeaters in their place, four tick delay, four tick delay, no tick delay, redstone dust. So triple extend and triple retract. Now what you're simply just gonna do, block on this bottom piston. Another block out, another block out. Redstone dust like so. Right here on this third block, place block right there. Go up like so, on top of that redstone dust. One block out, block there and there. Now you're simply just gonna across these pistons, redstone dust, down the little stairs and connect it up like so. Same on the other side, so we're gonna have a block here, two more. Block out, redstone dust like so, two blocks up, block on top of the redstone, block out, top of the piston, top of that, extend the redstone dust down. Redstone will then power this block, powering this piston down here. Redstone will power this middle piston, and then the redstone will power, be powering this block connected to this piston. We're gonna do is we're gonna go under, place a temporary block where that underneath a piston, and then block out, and then you can break the block underneath. Extend it across all pistons, and then place redstone all like so. Then you go two blocks, two repeaters, four tick delay, two tick delay. I just need to check that. Sorry, sorry, it's not three tick delay. I was right with two tick delay. So four tick, then two tick. Now right above this redstone dust behind the repeaters, we have the block with our lever on it. Now from this redstone dust right here, we're gonna go four blocks out. So that's two, three, four on that side. And then one, two, three, four. Put redstone dust all along it. Now we're gonna, on each side, we're gonna go an extra two blocks out. Two repeaters, four tick delay, two tick delay. Another two out, two tick delay, four tick delay. Have that going into a block, and then just make it a stair, oops, stairway going up like so. Connect the redstone down like so. so. Once again, going into a block, make it a staircase going up like so. Connect down the redstone like so. So now everything should extend besides the middle part. All good. Now right here on this redstone block, we're just gonna extend our blocks back like so. You can go up a block right here, like right below the edge. So right here, we're gonna go up a block, go up to the side, and then connect down this redstone. And I have a repeater going in right there, and then connect back the redstone. Do the same on the other side. So now, boom, perfect. Boom, perfect. So now, you may notice there's nothing in the center. What you're gonna do? Place your block right there. And then you will notice how the block will vary on what side it goes. So you can see it went to the right. This time it went to the left. Went back to the left. Went back to the right. So you'll notice how that middle block varies on what side it goes, but then again, it's still a door and it still works. Now we're basically just gonna fill this in. So make sure you like you have your floor, you can design this however you want, however you like. I'm just gonna add in a quick floor like so. For the walls, you're just gonna add obsidian, furnaces, or glazed terracotta, any immovable block um, by slime or honey blocks. You can add that on the side, so it like, obviously doesn't get like, taken away by the slime blocks. I'm just gonna simply do that wherever slime blocks touch. So boom, there we go. Have it decorated however you want. I just simply have a tunnel. Now, what you're gonna do is you're, to add a lever on the other side, just plop down a lever wherever you like. If you're plopping on the floor, just go below, such as here. And you're just gonna add in your redstone. But before you hook it up to these lines, you're just gonna have two more repeaters going in. So now it should like have enough pulse to extend all the way through. Now let's say you want your lever somewhere else farther away or on a wall. So let's just bring out a little wall over here. Let's say I want my lever right here on this wall. What you're going to do is you're just going to simply flick down this lever so you know how far the redstone poles can reach. You're just going to simply bring down the redstone line, you know, to wherever the next, the closest piece of redstone there is so it can connect up. Now you may notice over here, there's not enough power. It can't reach all the way over here. So that's gonna mean that you're gonna have to add another repeater. 
What I would suggest doing it instead of adding it over here to the side, don't do that. That's just gonna make stuff more complicated to you. Add it where the middle is. So where a central point is. So you notice it'll add up right here. To make all the timings like um, correct and it's not like all off, this is the central point where nothing can really get messed up. So you're gonna add in a repeater right there. Works perfectly. Awesome. So I know the last part of me explaining how to like um, extend the lever and like the different timings may have been confusing for some of you guys and that's okay. If you need help, just leave a comment ask me for, for help. I'm more than happy to help you guys. That's all I gotta say. See you in the next one. Goodbye.